Welcome to I Like Turn Line. Now we've seen a number of videos on stress and strain and the expansion of, of uh, the volume expansion, linear expansion and so forth. Now we're going to try to put it all together with a couple more examples, starting with this one. And it tells us to find the volume strain of the metal given the following things. That the linear coefficient of expansion is 1 times 10 to the minus 6 percent degree degree. That the temperature has been increased by 100 Fahrenheit degrees and we're given a number of possible answers and only one of those is correct. Which one of these answers is the correct answer? So to do that we need to understand what we mean by the volume strain. Remember the strain is the change of the original so the volume strain is equal to the change in the volume divided by the original volume. Now how do we find the change in the volume? Well, the change in the volume is equal to the original volume times the volume coefficient of expansion. In this case, it will be three times the linear coefficient of expansion times the change in the temperature. And so therefore, the change in the volume over the original volume would be equal to three times the linear coefficient times the change in the temperature. That would then give us the correct answer. So let's see. So this would be equal to 3 times the linear coefficient of expansion, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 6 per centigrade degree, times 100 Fahrenheit degrees. Of course, those don't coincide with one another, so we have to convert from Fahrenheit degrees to centigrade degrees, and it would be 5 centigrade degrees for every 9 Fahrenheit degrees. So that gives us, well, the units would completely cancel out, which is what we want because this, the, ra the ratio of the change in the volume to original volume is unitless. So let's see what this number is. So 3 times 1 e to the 6 minus times 100 times 5 divided by 9 equals, and I get 1.67 times 10 to the minus 4. So that's the change in the volume of the original volume. And do we have the answer right here? Sure enough, answer F is the correct answer. And that is how it's done.